So this is sharing under our site, share how to share your site. Now the first thing is I had made this into a template. Once it becomes a template, it's not really your website anymore because you're altering the template now. So if I don't want this to be a template, like I made a mistake, and I want to go to manage site, scroll down. This is a template. I don't want it to be a template anymore. So we're going to go to manage site and we see this new feature, template information. You can change the title of the template, but we can also remove it from the gallery and make it just a normal website again. So template deleted, save. Last thing we want to do is we want to share the site. If you'd like to share this with another teacher, say you are making a website for your content or grade level teams and you want to have a place for everybody to put things that they find on the web and so other people can have access to it really easily. We're in share and maybe we want to add people. This is another fake Gmail address that I have. I can share it. I can say can edit or is owner. This is new. Is owner is important because is owner means they have access to the managed site page which is important. So you want them to be owners unless you're kind of sharing the entire site with your students and you're worrying about them deleting the page. But if you're sharing it with other teachers you want to make sure that they're owner. And now they are free to have access to the same stuff you do. The final addition, and this is where it's handy for students, is enable page level permissions. So as you can see, this allows you to view, there's a starting guide, or you can turn on page level permissions. Feel free to read through this guide. What I have to do now is, I have to share the students. This is going to be hard to model without the students. The site is shared with all the students. And then I make sure that the students are in view only. They're not, they're not owners. But I can undo, say, Newton's second law page, and a student can now edit it. So if I want to, a student can contribute their own material to certain pages. This is hard to model because I don't have this shared with lots of students. Um, but this is worth reading over and worth experimenting with. This is advanced. This is once you, your students have pages and they understand how the websites work, and you're comfortable with it, enable just remember that the turn up page level permissions is a great way to let people that you've shared the site with have access to certain pages. For example, if we say use the same permissions as awesome site. If I've shared this, I set I share the students to view, but then I let them have permission to work on this page. Or you can do it customs. So this is something you have to have I haven't had anybody share this with this yet, so you can't really see it. But this is something you can experiment with um, as you work with your content teams or once a couple years down the road as your students are comfortable with their sites.